I'm a food critic for the time, and I've been anxious for some time now to get my claws into the door of the pompous evil weasel of a restaurateur and rip him to absolute shreds. Benefit of my unusually loyal readership. I'm sorry. I'm not a vindictive person. I think I'm basically a decent person, but I've been watching people humiliating themselves for a table at that place for months. And the restaurant sucks. Honestly, their foie gras is dry. The lapine and fruits a they say something like cat coughed up when I had the flu last winter. Their wine list is emaciated. Syphilis pastry shop. Couldn't bust a cupcake. You have a gun to his mother's head. And I need a crack at it, but they wouldn't let me in. Not even with a fake name. Tonight, I just was walking by, and I saw this nice looking guy. Just, just normal looking, not a big slip or anything. He was waiting on the table. I thought, why not me? And I was offered a table, and I leaped at it. And now, that supercilious creep is going to have a nasty little surprise when he opens the paper tomorrow morning, I promise you. I don't mean it to. I'm not a mean person. I'm just like anyone else. I like a decent meal. I like to run a couple of videos and relax on a Sunday night. I like to drive up north for a weekend trip in the fall when the leaves start to turn. That sounds like a horrible personal end, doesn't it? <laughs> Single female, 20s, enjoys food, film, and foliage, seeking single male, 20s to 30s, for profound lifelong commitment. Not that I'd ever, ever write an ad like that. And fine, believe me. I'm not desperate. I meet plenty of people. I mean, plenty of people at parties. Plenty of successful, brilliant, witty people. Okay, not plenty, but some. And I try to be, you know, look at the paper. And they read your stuff and you develop a reputation. And even though you're just doing your job, like, like last month, when I wrote that the new unbelievably pretentious and expensive Sushi place downtown was enough to make any American feel a little less guilty about shopping the atomic bomb in Nagasaki. You developed the reputation for, yeah, I don't know, harshness. And you start to wish that you could just make a clean break. Find someone totally new. Like, I don't know, anyone. This guy here. Uh, an attractive, well dressed, not crazy about the tie. I would have been a little less into late eighties. Who cares? It doesn't matter. You have to be flexible, and you have to be ready. You can plan it or hope for it. You simply have to prepare to recognize the chance when it came. And that person came along. Sometimes imagine something like that happening. And I come to my senses and remind myself how unlikely that would be.